I hardly dare say it, but days like this, I wish I were still driving. It's great to see them battling like that. I think, oh, I would go that way or that way. But obviously, it's much easier to say that on the ground than behind the wheel. We believe you, Jean-Louis, because today was indeed a glorious for the last Moroccan stage. Fast tracks through large expanses of arid desert. The navigators had their work cut out with lots of tracks crisscrossing the chosen route and very few landmarks to help them through this field of desert racing dreams. They raced towards the Reste and Dakla, over 473 kilometres of time stage from Smara to Was Azag. Racing with your son or daughter makes for extreme parental pride. Alain and Anais Biard are shoulder to shoulder in this race with the goal of getting to Dakar. They are happy to be out together racing and creating memories. Today, they came in 11th. After losing the top spot on the leaderboard yesterday, Alexandre de Ban has had a bit of a nightmare day. The tough navigation took its toll and he arrived back very, very late in 14th place in his category. This man has a spark of hope for the win this year. Benoit Fretin has had a week without mishap. Morocco has presented no problems and he gets to rest day at the top of the SSV GC. It's good, that was the plan. We didn't want to get behind because it's back-breaking. It went well, even better than expected. Now comes the most complicated part. But the most fun for our machines to go and play in the sand and the dunes. There you go, we'll keep going, we'll try to stick to the plan, rendezvous in five or six days. Benoit Fretin finished second today, however, 18 minutes behind Camille Rahal, very proud of flying the flag for Senegal so high in the rankings. It was such a pleasure. Thank you, Jean-Louis. You got us driving so fast. We had to really concentrate on the course. Any loss of concentration for 500 kilometers and it would have been catastrophic. Honestly, it went well thanks to my co-pilot who navigated excellently. We're really pleased. We won today. It went really well. We are really happy. Results of the SSV category are as follows. Victory for Camille Rahal ahead of Benoit Fretin and another Senegalese driver, Walid Ezzedin. The Dutchman Derrix is fourth. In the GC, Benoit Fretin retains his lead with just over 1 hour 20 from Loïc Frebourg. Patrice Etienne completes the top three and thanks to his skills on stages four and five, Rahal makes it in at four. Hervé Kiné is here in his first Africa Eco Race with his wife Marie-Laure alongside him as co-pilot. After three heart operations, he wants to show that it is still possible to push your limits and take on impressive challenges such as this. As a further challenge, he decided to donate one euro per kilometre of the total distance to the charity Coeur et Santé in a total of 6,000 euros. Today, Mr. and Mrs. Kiné came home in 39th place. Last year, a woman took the truck category of the Africa Eco Race. Elizabeth Jacinto couldn't be here this year, but another young woman is following in her footsteps at the wheel of her own impressive racing truck. Marcelina Zawadzka, Miss Poland 2011 and Final 16 of Miss Universe 2012, is now at the wheel of her man as part of the Farmer Prom Dust team. She finished today in 39th position. Up with the big players and the battle between the cars and trucks continues. Yves Fromont drove at an average of 124 kilometers an hour today to finish fourth. 
Not fast enough to keep his place at the top of the leaderboard, though. But it'll take more than that to rattle the old hand. He knows it's still a long way. It's not really too serious. It was quite difficult to compete with the truck. Firstly, because we are looking after the car in the places where we could go really fast to keep the heat down. Also, we did well in the navigation. So the navigation is easier for them in the complicated areas. We're pleased. We drove a good stage. A great stage also for Johan Elfrink, third today, 13 seconds ahead of Fromont. Second place today went to Patrick Martin. No problems to speak of since the beginning of the rally. Only two punctures in five Moroccan stages, so a very positive report on the first week. Now Patrick and Lucas can't wait for the sand. And tonight the rally has a new GC leader. The Belgian Igor Bowens has now won three stages, having won four last year. His truck is more reliable than last year and he drove the stage at an incredible average speed of 131 kilometers an hour. His team name, Art of Speed, has never been as apt. I don't understand why there is no buggy in front of us. They can go up to 200 kilometers an hour. I drove full tilt for three hours at 150 kilometers an hour. I didn't get a puncture. There's a lot of luck involved in these stages too. We saw absolutely no one. A quick look at the results today and it's Bowens ahead of Martin, Elfrink and Fromont. Titov's T2 is 6th. In the GC, back and forth between Fromont and Bowens, the Belgian takes the lead by a teeny tiny 6 seconds. Patrick Martin and Miklos Kovac lie in wait just behind them. The first SSV, that of Fretin, is 8th. Three years ago, an 18-year-old rider from Israel, Gev Sela, won the Africa Eco Race. This year, a Polish teenager is lighting the African roots on fire. Konrad Dabrowski is also 18 and in his first marathon rally raid. Charming, modest and talented, he's still learning, but at lightning speed. This is how I feel. Um, to be honest, yeah, yesterday in the morning I wasn't feeling too good, but still I came up with the seventh place. Today I was feeling much better and I had a lot of fun till the end. So, yeah, so far every day better. Bikes and rally raids are in Conrad's blood. He has been immersed in it from a young age. His father, Marek, here as team manager, was once one of the best riders in the world. Most notably, he was the first Polish rider to finish the Dakar. Of course, uh, it all came from him. I watched him race in Jacek since I was a little child, since, since I can remember. So it was always my dream to be a part of a big rally. And uh, yeah, it, it came true faster than I thought. And I'm really happy about this and thankful uh, to my father and Jacek for this oppor opportunity. I worried for him, but uh, not as much as he worries about me for sure because uh, I didn't know uh, what's the game about to be honest. Uh, you can listen to every story that people tell you and t until you experience it you, you will not know what, what it's all about. So for sure he worries about me now more than I worried about him. History is repeating itself in Poland. Back in the day Marek Dabrowski rode alongside Jacek Czachor as his water carrier. And now, who does Konrad have watching out for him? Jacek Czachor himself. I'm really happy to ride with him. This is a... Uh, we make history, to be honest, in Poland. And, uh, well, they made history. They were the first ones to finish the Dakar rally. And now uh, I, can, I can race with Jacek and this is really special for me. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's amazing. Actually, for me, it's... Uh, well, it's the beginning of my career, so it's uh, really special for me and I'm really happy to be on the finish line every day and actually the result doesn't matter, to be honest. Of course, I am a sportsman and I was racing motocross, so I like to be higher in the standings, but uh, the goal is to finish in the Dakar and I am really happy about every day spent on my motorcycle.
Today, Konrad Dabrowski finished fifth, just behind Jacek Chachor. Amongst the bikers, two women are making their mark on the rally. Despite a sprained right ankle after a fall yesterday, Motul Extreme rider Julie Vaniken has powered on and finished today in 40th place. For Mami Masuda, however, former Japanese motocross champion and mother of four, the main goal is now just to catch the rally. She lost a huge amount of time in the Chicago Dunes and is taking advantage of rest day to get back to bivouac and start again on Monday. Still on two wheels and Norbert Dubois gave himself a late birthday present by going up to 13th place. During the week I've had two good days. Yesterday I made a few mistakes. I lo got lost and lost some time, a real shame. But no, overall, it's okay. For an old man of 60, not bad. Norbert Dubois finished eighth today. This man continues to surprise every day, perhaps even himself. The Brit Lyndon Poskett had another fantastic stage today and ended up third. He lost four minutes to the leader in the GC, but he just keeps on coming. Wow. Uh, navigation, you had to be really careful with the navigation. And uh, I tried to make everything perfect because I knew those guys were going to be right on me if I made a mistake. A couple of times made a few small mistakes, but corrected it really quickly because I just knew they would be there. Yeah, I don't know where I finished, but that one was for my team because they've worked really hard to get us to rest day. And uh, hopefully we, we came here with a good, good vibe for them. Paul Anders Olaf Alsater knows these rallies well enough to know not to jump to conclusions this early on. He lost a bit of time to Baturi today, but the Norwegian is happy to have ridden in Morocco and knows that the games will begin in Mauritania. I like Morocco, but now we we go into very different terrain. We go into Mauritania and now it's sand, sand and it's soft dunes. Very soft, so this... Uh, I'm looking forward to that. No real worries either for last year's winner. Alessandro Baturi only has a few minutes over Ola Valsater at the head of the GC, but he too knows that Mauritania can be a cruel playground and the time gaps will start to play out in minutes, perhaps even in half hours. So the Italian goes into his well-earned rest day advising great caution. In the bike results today, third stage victory for Baturi ahead of Ola Valsater and Poskett. Omari Baratin is the first Motul Extreme rider in 15th. In the GC, Boturi has a 4 minute 10 lead over Ola Valsater and is 25 minutes and 16 from Poskett. The first Frenchman, Norbert Dubois, is 13th. First Motul Extreme rider is Anders Berglund in 15th. That's all we have time for today. Tomorrow the bivouac settles for rest day in Dakla on the Atlantic coast, giving riders, drivers and machines some well-earned rest. But before we leave Morocco's final stage, here are some of the day's best images. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.